Hi, and welcome to another episode of Atomic Heart. Just get my game in front of me. There we go. I hope I can remember where I left off. I always get stuck reading those tips, damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. Authorization. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access granted. Well, wow, that's loud. Major Nichayev, codename P3, access Okay, so we do have stuff and things. Magnetic discharge that targets enemies and deal electric. Mm. That's a pretty good one. Part of the discharge bounces and deals damage to additional targets. Upgrade that can increase the speed of shock charging. Oh, that's useful. Increases its laser resistance. Running speed. This is pretty good, but then I have to change the skill. Spray targets. I'm not really keen on doing that. Mihailic, I'm gonna go grab some lunch. You want anything? Ah, don't do me any favors. I marched all the way to Berlin in my day. I can make it to the cafeteria. Thank you very much. Oh, chill out. Just trying to help. You know all the mashed potatoes will be gone and then I'll have to hear all about it. Ah, go on. I'll catch up to you. Hell, I'll probably get there first. Whatever. These people. What? I'm not a man anymore because I lost my leg? I don't need nobody to bait me. I can get there myself without their help. 
I don't want pity, I want respect, damn it! Okay. I'm running laps around you yet. Mark my words. That dude has issues. Okay, there's some sort of puzzle here. There are no enemies here. What's the hot workshop used for? Heat resistant polymers are made here. But most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. That makes sense. Remember that all experiments will result in a decision and or intellectual property of the Communist Party and may not be appropriated. Seems too quiet. I don't trust it. And this eerie music could. Um. Canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Oh no. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. Oh, uh, this book. Okay, let's see.
to be a way to get up here. There's a... I don't know how to explain it. Let me see if I can... Oh, shit. Let me see if I can... Do it with a controller. jump that high. I don't exactly see another way. Unless I can get on top of that thing somehow. know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Please remember to fill out forms IDDQD1 and ID. Thermal polymer canister connected. There we go. Look at her bloom. 
What a beauty. Photosynthesis has begun. The tree's condition is improving rapidly. Attention, distribution center employees. Access to the right wing of the complex is now available. No, oh, so that doors don't open. Okay, so we need cold and insects. But those are insects. What the heck? This one kind of difficult because it doesn't exactly tell you which direction to go. Unless you start walking in the direction you're supposed to go. Oh, so insects that away. What in the hell? So I can either do insects or I can do cold. Attention, employees who have um, been It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars, the bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. Okay. Can you tell me anything? How did this all get started? It was quick, unexpected, and very bloody. Lucky, you know. There are only a few robots here now. The first day, the place was swarming with them. Every corridor had someone screaming, or dying, or both. And where did the robots go? How should I know? All over the facility, I guess. I assume they went through those tunnels. A few of them got stopped or taken out. And I guess the rest are probably still out there, waiting for you. Okay. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck and snapped it right here. You seem pretty calm about this. Why shouldn't I be? I had my fill of screaming when it all went down. I freaked out, swore. Saw terrified, dying people. Funny thing is, what scared them most wasn't the robots that were butchering them. It was seeing me dead and talking. But why do you think that is? Because it's a damn scary thing to be talking to a dead man. I ah, mean, why I'm talking? I've no idea. I'm not even sure I'm happy about it. It doesn't matter anyway. Okay, well. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. See you. Yeah, that is kind of freaky. Speaking to all the dead people. I see dead people. Cool. Granted. I want to see the new weapons that I've got. Because there's another... this thing. Was it this thing? Ooh. 
Granted. Um, um, how much ammo have I got? Saving data. I mean to save, not throw the chair around. Okay. So let's go in there. Is that thing gonna jump out and kill me? There's a couple of enemies here. What's this crap? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's what something the wrong with this sprout. Yeah, I'd say... Chicken is plucking his eyes out. Is... A killer chicken. Uh -huh. Now I've seen it all. Well, if you're hungry, you're hungry. Good boy. Is that a tick? You. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. Oh dear. Stupid steak. steak. Fun. Oh, the rescue team. Finally. You cannot help me, but there are still people alive here. Say, you certainly took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to us. Yeah. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to. But I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing. But the way they slowly walk towards the humans, it was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. Robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks, like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasi. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. 
Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. <laughs> Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. All right. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Sure thing. Let's read some messages. Congratulations on your promotion, comrade. Okay. I've got a personal request for you, Vic. The Pavlov complex is in the middle of a big polymer study right now, and humdrum though it may seem. That looks too much. Okay, these three I'm not gonna stop, so. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-cell plant life to livestock and other animals. Anything else that needs killing? There's a cow in there. He seems quite happy. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium. <laughs> it's a cowfish. Okay, so there is three guys right over there. So let's uh, sneak up on them. That's three, right?
Good cow. Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. You said it, buddy. You said it. Okay. Let's see if there's any other. What? Do they have things in their butts? That's, that's, that's just weird. Okay. Any robot? Nothing. Who? Me? The computer mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Hope I didn't get anything mixed up. to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Oh my word. No wonder everything wants to kill me. Wow. That's brutal, man. to kill me. Damn chicken, isn't it? Saving data. Why is there a safe data here? It's huge. 
I've never seen so many planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now, it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel. Mosquitoes. They look like mosquitoes. Stick up on this guy. I doubt it, but let's try anyway. Turn around before I have a chance to get to him. No, 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 don't turn around yet.
These things are kind of hard to shoot. Okay, there's a dude there. I did not see him. I can't see which way he went. Kill this dude. Where did that come from? Normally those come from the plants, so I just kill it. Unless I missed it. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Really? That's all we've seen so far. Okay, do we have a splitter? Yes, we do. Let's do that. Authorized. 
Authorization. Major Nichayev. Yeah, I need bullets. Some of these, please. Thank you very much. There we go. So how do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. We just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Yeah. Looks Let's like we've got company. company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing. Yep. Say. Finally. Data saved. Attention, employees. Access to the pesticide workshop is now available. Okay. Got that one. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. Tips me. Love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister. Go down there just yet. Mm. That's a 
lot of things. Say, finally. Everything you hear, Major. So, what do you think? Crispy critters. Quiet, damn it. There's something dangerous <laughs> up ahead. And that's my fucking mine. Indeed. <laughs> but we still need to get that canister of pesticide polymer. Yes, we do. So quiet. Something is bound to jump at us. That's not this way. I think this is the way out. The reports from the Americans at
Clear to go out. Let's go face this uh, Ricky right now. I need a canister of pesticide polymer. There's a canister right there inside. You have to find a PA 400 polymer container. We blow the fucker to kingdom come, then you can take whatever you want, okay? Fine, have it your way. But won't the canister be destroyed? Shit! The pump! The hemlock needs to be sprayed constantly. We're almost out of PA 400. You need to find that polymer container right now! Yeah, right, a container. Yeah. Could you at least tell me what it looks like? It's a yellow kind of, uh, kind of cylinder? Find that yellow cylinder or we're screwed! Shit, that thing is huge. Why the hell would yeah. they make something like that? It was the unexpected result of a bold scientific experiment. You eggheads and Come your on. bold fucking experiments. Fucker. Where do I find that yellow cylinder? It's a polymer container, Major. They're always yellow. It shouldn't be hard to find. That does it, does it? What the heck is that? That's a mother. Which 
houses around here. Do it loot first. That's not the right cylinder. Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I. What? I know I'm mm. dead. I don't. Sorry, I, I gotta keep moving. Yeah. Okay, there's one of those big ass robot dudes. <laughs> thing to worry about. Because that gives me more stuff. Have you survived? Everything flapping and moving. Hey Charles, this sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us. The 19th. I've been studying the hemlock particles under a microscope and the schnitzel. I've noticed that the slime mold genes have become dominant. Endocytosis has been... Oh, shoot! Reduced. This, well, <clears throat> it explains how the plant feeds itself by grabbing food with its stems, for example. <laughs> Just a sec. <laughs> what? what are you eating this time? Schnitzel! Drop it! Bad dog! Anyway. Uh, later. Where did <laughs> it go?
get all these cars. This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. Telekinesis. Use E to move platforms. Remember, you can't move a platform that you're standing on. Okay. Why do I need to move it? Enjoy these puzzles to be honest.
Okay, so we don't want it to come back, but we want to turn. Let's move this thing over this way. So we can jump over into that platform. close. Freaking 
lump of lard or something. It just broke down in the middle of a jump. Like that. And that screeching is like making me want to rush. And you shouldn't. Easier way to get up here. Where was it? Didn't we push something somewhere? We got up somewhere. Where's that yellow thing? Jumping. No, no, no. That place should win jumping. is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Oh, 
fucking canister. Well, it's something. And this is a He's mutated! No shit, Sherlock. Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! That was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs than... <laughs> skills, experiments, and unique experience. You can reset skills and redistribute returned neuropolymer to use other skills or you get tired of the ones, old ones. Want to change your play style. You won't be punished with fines or penalties, so feel free to experiment. Well, that's pretty cool. Nice, nice. So you can just make giant killer shrubs. The path to scientific achievement is fraught with pitfalls. The only way to avoid making mistakes is to do nothing. Thank you. 
all and this music is driving me insane <laughs> I didn't even see this stream moved. Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Oh, what a pain in the ass. Yeah. Pain in the ass indeed. Okay, so now I got all of them. Insert this one. Cryopolymer canister connected. Great, the birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. Pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the, the birch tree has returned to normal. The power generator is now fully operational. Okay. Power supply restored. And Done. We go. The gate is open. We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. If I ever see another goddamn canister, it'll be too soon. Uh -huh. Famous last words, buddy. Okay, we're going over there. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I this guess you pretty. helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yes. Yeah, I'm not itching to stick around, dude. Yeah, Let's sure. I'm not exactly out. itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. 
There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Ah, oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. But wouldn't Professor Zaharov have known that the experimental sample he was working with was dangerous? He created it himself, after all, along with Dr. Sechenov. This is seriously messed up. Mm -hmm. I need to put some shotgun shells in my inventory because uh, I don't think I have any. Oh yeah, I've got this. No wonder I couldn't pick up shotgun shells. I've got four. So why didn't that reload? Hmm. So... We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or abilities? Mm, let's just do the weapons first. Storage. Oh, wow. Hello. Adrenaline capsule. Dynamo. I keep on making them and uh, they don't go into my inventory. It does not help with me. Swap it like so. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think I might get a copyright strike on that opera song earlier. That would suck. Granted. Yes, too. I should have some points. Ooh, lots of points. What does this one do again? Increases speed of shock charging. Maybe I forgot that one. It'll help for group attacks. Adds another puzzle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We might actually be able to do another one. Increases your suit's laser resistance. Out here. It was so pretty earlier. It really bots. Shit, Chelas. What are they doing? They're mm. repairing broken robots. The more Chelas there are, the sooner the damaged unit will be fixed. They're not currently oh, dangerous. Good. You can keep going. Just ignore them. Okay. Um. I think I'll wait. One of them has a camera. I'd rather not have it see me. Mm -hmm. The 
walk relay and the wind watcher wind catcher so walk is the ecosystem regional uplink it stays in the air powered by the wind generator walk can be controlled by a terminal any hostile activity picked up by the dandelion cctv cameras will result in sending a little to alert to the nearest rebel assembly plant calling reinforcements so if I kill the wind turbine all that help. Look at all the lasers. resistant to there are cameras everywhere where do they send the stuff they see if you're detected the hawk will sound a level one alarm and all nearby robots will converge on your current location if a camera sees you attacking a robot a level two alarm will be activated and the hawk will deploy additional forces. How do I know the current alert level? Your polymer retina is equipped with an alert level indicator. Can you stop making new ones, damn it? So now that thing is busy making new ones, let's run. Which other facility robots are dangerous? All of them, I suppose. Other than the Terrish Cobras, <laughs> as they operate autonomously and are not connected to the network. So the central hub chicken? infiltrated by Petrov does not have access to the Terrish Cobras. Mm -hmm. uh, at least someone here isn't trying to kill me. Thanks. For nothing. Chicken. didn't hurt as much as I thought. Hey, stupid chicken.
Okay, there's a crazy chicken over there. Crazy cow. You friend me. Yeah, you next. Oh, thank goodness I got a both of them. Jeez, how many do these people have? Pretty sure there's another one down there. Hmm. 
No. Wasn't too bad. We didn't die. Okay, now let's see where they hit. Collective happen. seems to have deployed a disproportionately large number of robots to this area for some reason. I recommend stealth. I'm already late to the VDNH. Sechenov said I needed to hurry. A frontal assault carries a high probability of death. I've seen security mm. systems like this before, Charles. I can get around it. Sneak through here. Up against chicken minds its own business. I'm kind of getting worried here for a minute because um, I have not seen a safe game place. doesn't seem to be an idea. It's gonna have to be through this garden.
this thing out. that thing Snapper module is used by this ecosystem to control access to important areas. Only the dandelion camera can interact with the log. That minister can administrator can connect the camera through the nearest VLAN auxiliary interface. Okay. And that is where Damn it. The gate's been locked by the security system. We need to gain access. The only way to do this is by connecting to the security cameras. Unfortunately, I lack that ability. There's a special camera diagnostic system, CDS2 Valon. I can use one to connect to the cameras. That system might come in handy for stuff other than diagnostics. Hopefully there's one around here somewhere. According to available data, a device with that designation can be found in this village. Detecting its signal, Use the scanner to triangulate its coordinates. Lost it. Ok, 
device allow us to hack into the security system? Hacking into the system would be tricky. Access denied. Please provide a valid code. Where's the fire, Sonny? Granny? Is that you? So you haven't forgotten old Granny Xena, huh? Good for you. How's the Vavilov complex treating you? You like the cute little bush they got there? That cute little bush almost killed me. I barely made it out in one piece. And now I'm stuck here with this lousy piece of shit, Valon. Here's a little tip for you, Sonny. You need bigger guns. Then you can take out all those nasty buggers without breaking a sweat. Right. Guns are kind of hard to find around here. You should stop by my hut. I'll find you a blueprint. And it'll help you back into that, Valon. I've got some codes for it around here someplace. Your... Hut? What kind of Baba Yaga would I be without a hut on chicken legs? They broke the mold when they made you, Granny. All right, I'll come to your hut. Where is it? See the field on the hill? Down the road from that tower of yours. Head that way and wait for me there. I won't be long. That's right. Any loot? I had to check. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, about time. That fucking bot almost killed me. She's well, I'm here now, Sonny. Thanks for the assist, yeah. Granny Zena. So, where are these big guns of yours? I'm gonna need nice them. Door. Come on in. Have a cup of tea. It's beautiful. Oh, thank goodness. Safe space. So cozy. Kettle's there. Help yourself. Uh, okay. Nice TV. What's on? Cartoons. Have a seat and watch. What the hell are you? <laughs> Regarding Shush. the report, your beloved Sachinov son, I want you to watch closely. At facility 3826. The malfunction has already been corrected, Comrade Molotov. Everything's back to normal. There's nothing to worry corrected about. Corrected or not, our American friends are likely to find out about this outrageous incident. Do you realize what this could mean for us? An international scandal! I am fully aware of- Are it. you? Our Atomic Heart Project My. is in jeopardy! My project. A project I started before the beginning of that damn war. A project you all refused to acknowledge. How many millions of Soviet citizens died in that bloody meat grinder of a war? I swore that the world would never see its like again. Well, well. I'm glad to hear you still value human <laughs> life over your mechanical toys, Comrade Sechenov. But that does not change the fact that we are all slowly being suffocated by Western sanctions. 
Comrade Molotov, I value human life above all else. And the age of capitalist exploitation is coming to an end. Soon the Western working Comrade class Shachow. will cast off the yoke of the oppressor. I understand my duty all too well, Comrade Molotov. The polymerization of the entire Soviet population. The launch of the collective neural network. Operation Atomic Heart. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. They're not going to find out. I repeat, the malfunction has been dealt Comrade with. Comrade Sechenov, some members of the Politburo may be willing to take you at your word as an honored member of the Academy of Sciences. But I'm afraid your word is just not enough for me. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> the Politburo has come to a decision. <laughs> And I have been ordered to head a special commission investigating your malfunction. We will be at your facility later today. Do I make myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Well, Comrade Molotov, if the party deems it necessary, then... Holy shit, Granny Zena. How the hell did you get it's access to this? It's a direct connection. I've got eyes and ears everywhere, sweet cheeks. Don't worry about it, okay? It's none of your business. Besides, you've got work to do. Yes, we do. Can we save now, please? I've got a little present for you. It's in the corner. You know what to do with Volan codes, right? And take this blueprint. You can give it to my repair vendor. It won't bite. Unlike your girlfriend. <laughs> what? Girlfriend? <laughs> Thanks, lady. You're a real peach. Ooh, Dominator. Yeah, she's a real peach. Hey, the cutie. Hello, cutie. Gorgeous slot gives weapon its installed on elemental damage. Okay, cool. Access granted. Okay, let's build a gun. Insufficient resources. Okay. Let's not build the gun. You're no ordinary old lady. Really? You seem a little mixed up, Sonny. <laughs> no kidding. You've got a flying hut, a quantum computer hanging from the ceiling. Of course I'm mixed up. I've never met anybody like you before. You've got a memory like a sieve, haven't you? Well, I guess there's a few little things I can't remember since I got injured. But I definitely remember you. Little things, you say? Well, now you've got something really important to do, right? Pretty much. I need to get to the VDNH. Is there a train station around here? It's right past the village. Head down the road, you can't miss it. Just keep an eye on the sky. Okay. Yeah. Off you go, little pup. Oh, I almost forgot. You didn't find a couple of rings down there, did you? Gold ones in a facility 3826 box? Rings in a box? No, Granny Zena, I didn't see anything like that. I was... Kind of busy. Well, but we did, I'm off sure you go then. Enjoy the that. VDNH. Thanks. I really appreciate the help. Wait. You're meeting Stockhausen there, aren't you? How the hell did you know about that? A little bird told me. Tell the crowd <laughs> things might have been different if he hadn't been chasing after another man's woman. <laughs> Whatever. I have no idea what you're talking about. Grab a car in the village. It's a long walk to the station. Okay. Still no safe point. Charles, who is this Granny Zena lady anyway? That's a difficult question to answer, Comrade Major. I've never met her. Yeah? I figured you knew her. Why is that? You didn't say a word when we were talking. 
I assumed you didn't want her to hear your voice. I decided not to reveal myself until I can determine exactly whose side she's on. Makes sense. So, what about this atomic heart project Dr. Sechenov was talking to Comrade Molotov about? I have no data about it. You'd have to ask Dr. Sechenov. Eh, it doesn't matter. The boss will tell me about it if I need to know. Let's go find a way to the station. We're finally in the system. We can see the whole place this way. Let's look for the right okay. camera. Okay. Well, let's see. This is where we are. We are looking for. Not this camera. Hey, it works. That's great news. This is definitely going to come in handy. Okay, this one. We've got a camera. Are you getting any telemetry, Charles? I'm in the system. Okay, let's open the gate. I think we just did it. In God. Let's go this way. Careful, the enemy is on high alert. What the hell was that? Where do they keep coming from? Yeah. A bumblebee robot is delivering them from a nearby factory. Yeah, can it stop?
Man, I've been in here. Pretty sure I've been in here. Okay, but that is where I am gonna leave it for this episode. I don't know where this is gonna save. I need to find a car. Okay, well that's one down. Let's go around this way. So those guys in the street don't see me.
Okay, so I have to go down. Ow. Dude over there. But yeah, I'm gonna have to end this episode right here. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to smack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to know when I go live or post another video and until next time have a wonderful evening afternoon morning wherever you are see you then bye